wanted to be killing all five bosses from chapter five and ranking them from best to worst to find which is the best spot to land at. And to make this ranking more legit, I'm going to be doing this all in Unreal Ranked. I'll score them each out of 15 points based on their location and the weapon they drop and the difficulty of killing them. The higher the score we give, the better the bosses. Starting off with Oscar, we are going to be landing at Lavish Lair. Now, Oscar drops the mythic auto shotgun, so I have a feeling that this might be a good one. On our way to kill Oscar. This is a good start. We have some minis. We got an SMG. Ooh, this is a good chest. Oh my god, a purple pump. Oh my god. Where did they go? Where did they go? All right, maybe let's try to kill Oscar. Uh-oh. He's almost dead. There we go. And perfect. Overall, I would say that this is a very ideal location to land at as there aren't that many locations nearby. This means you can easily kill the boss without having to worry about any third parties. Let's go with a 5 out of 5 for this location. Now, the auto shotgun is very good since it can hit very heavily and shoot very fast, but the only downside to it is how long it takes to reload. The reload on this is so slow. I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. And just so that the score makes sense, when we rate the difficulty, 5 will be the easiest and 1 will be the most difficult. Now for Lavish Layer, there are a handful of people that land here consistently and the fighting grounds for it are very tricky. I lost a lot of placement when it comes to ranked because of this place. I can't keep doing this. There are a lot of open rooms, which makes it hard to fight with low materials. I would say the difficulty is a 2 out of 5, leaving us with an 11 out of 15, which is not bad at all, but I think we can do better. Now let's move on to Montague over at Grand Glacier, where we would get the Mythic Nemesis AR. Over to Grand Glacier. I feel like people only land here for the medallion, never for the weapon. Maybe I'm wrong. Wait, are we here alone? I don't think anyone else is trying to land here. Oh wait, the boss is already right here. Maybe we shouldn't do this without any shield. Well, it can't be that hard, right? Soon after. Okay. No. I'm not going to lie. I lost I lost a lot of health there. All right. Where did they go? Let's finish them off. And there we go. Okay. The location for this one is good because just like Lavish, there aren't too many places around for people to come from. But because of where it is on the map, it makes it very difficult to have a good place to rotate to. I would give this location a solid three out of five. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm personally not a fan of the Nemesis AR as the fire rate is just very slow compared to the striker. It does do some damage though, but I hate to do this. I'm going to have to give this weapon a two out of five. Now for the difficulty, it's a pretty easy boss to kill as there aren't too many people that land here. And since the weapon isn't very good, it makes it a lot easier. I would give this a nice 4 out of 5. That brings us to a total of 9 out of 15, which makes me feel like this is not the place we want to land. But anyways, let's move on to Peter Griffin, where we can get the Mythic Hammer Pump Shotgun. And if you guys have watched my stream before, you know how much I like a pump shotgun. We are going snooty steps, and we're going to get the Peter Griffin Medallion. See, I really enjoy going snooty steps. I'm being shot out of the air. Oh no, this is not good. Oh, they're right here. I have a plan. It might not be a smart one, but it's a plan. There we go. Wait, we might have Snooty now. There we go. Oh my God. Look how many society members there are. That was pretty easy. So this one has to be good just because it's Peter Griffin. <laughs> I personally land here a lot, and I think there are a lot of good things about this place. It's in such a great location because not too many people rotate here, and there are plenty of different ways to rotate out of this place. This one is a four out of five. And for the weapon, this one doesn't even have to be explained. Now, the only downside here is that a decent amount of players do land here, making it pretty difficult. But because of how slow the shotgun shoots, it's very easy to kill Peter. I would say this is an overall 3 out of 5 difficulty, giving us a total of 12 out of 15 for Peter Griffin. But we still have two bosses, including Valeria and Nisha. So let's go see how good Valeria is and what we think of the Mythic Hyper SMG. All right, let's land at Reckless Railways and get Valeria's medallion. It only seems like one or two other people are coming here. Maybe a little bit more. Oh my god, I landed on the boss. I will find you, and I will kill you. Oh, wow. Ah. Oh, that's perfect. Ow! What the hell was that? Let's give this another try. Let's kill the boss this time. They keep taking so much of our shield. They have aimbot. I'm telling you, they have aimbot. Oh, where did they come from? No, it's not reloaded! 
Uh oh. No, not the flames. Please. No. They're one shot. Oh, thank God. That boss was hard to kill. That's definitely the hardest boss that they have. Let's open this vault. We are actually... <gasps> Yeah, that one definitely hurt. But after landing here, I realized that this location is not ideal because we were surrounded by many other locations. This is also a train stop, making it very easy for people to rotate to this place. I would say this is a two out of five, but I will say that having a mythic hyper SMG does make up for the location as it quickly eliminates people in close range fights. The only thing that would make this better is if it was a burst SMG, as you can't use the hyper SMG from mid range. This makes it a three out of five for the weapon. Now the difficulty is really rough since Valeria has absolute aimbot, but not too many people land here, which makes it a lot easier. I would give this a 2 out of 5 considering it was a journey to get. This would leave us with a total of 7 out of 15 points. I really hope this next one gets better. But last and maybe not least, we have Nisha at Fenton Fields, where we will get the Mythic Striker AR. To Fenton we go, guys. Okay, it seems like there's a few players here. Wait, the boss is already on us. Dude, this is crazy. Oh, someone's killing the boss. Oh, wait, this is the boss. Okay, wait, we did it. Let's see. Okay. I have no idea where this person went. Alright, this one gave me plenty of mixed emotions as there was a constant flow of people here, but the location itself is in a really good spot for rotations. 3 out of 5 for this one. Now the Mythic Striker is definitely way better than the Nemesis and can absolutely shred people. It's really good at mid-range and can even work up close, but I noticed it was not the best at long range. I'm still giving this weapon a solid 4 out of 5. Now again, this was hard because of the amount of people that were here, but I will say that once you get situated, killing the boss really is not that hard. I'll have to say a 3 out of 5 for the difficulty. And this leaves us with a total of 10 out of 15, giving us a final score on every boss. So overall, these would be the final rankings with Peter Griffin at number one and Valeria in last place. So if I were you, I would start landing more at Snooty Steps and try to land less at Reckless Railways.